It's Ally with Morgan and Kevin. And live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, your hosts, Morgan Siegfried and Kevin Cobb. with Morgan and Kevin, brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Kevin. Back again. <laughs> Back again, <laughs> unfortunately, for whoever is watching. <laughs> Week eight. Is it? Oh, man. Episode eight of Al Live with Morgan and Kevin. Stop, I'm going to tear up. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, anyways, what's on the slate this weekend? Well, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's an interesting weekend. Most teams are on the road. Okay. Uh, volleyball is the only team here in uh, Philadelphia this weekend. They play tonight against Tulsa at 7 o'clock and then SMU on Sunday at 12 noon. They'll be welcoming back the 1997 A-10 champions on Sunday. So big home weekend for volleyball. Everyone else on the road, but a couple of critical conference matchups. Men's soccer is right now in the top four in the conference. They're at Tulsa tomorrow night, 8 o'clock p.m., Women's soccer, tough loss last night at USF, and they've got a really tough game on Sunday against the number 10 UCF Knights. And field hockey is in Connecticut for two <laughs> games this weekend. Uh, they've got Quinnipiac and Fairfield this weekend. So everyone's out on the road. Uh, football's on the road. Morgan, you'll be uh, headed yes. up to lovely West Point. Yes, football will be facing Army in their final non-conference matchup of the season. They're 5-2. and two. Yeah. So they play the triple option, so that should be, you know, an interesting yeah, always tough to prepare for the triple option. Absolutely. The interesting thing is that Temple has Army and Navy back to back on the schedule. So if there's a slight benefit to this, this you know, true. you've got Army this weekend, then you've got going into the bye week, rest up a little bit, get everyone healthy, get everyone ready to go, and you've got two more weeks to prepare for Navy. So you've got Army, the number two rushing offense in the country, and the Navy number one back to back. So really tough stretch here for Temple. Absolutely. And another cool thing we just announced men's basketball will be playing November yes. 9th. Yes. Uh, they'll be taking on Philly U, or now known as the Jefferson Rams. Yes, please. So. Yeah, my father-in-law works at Jefferson. <laughs> He'd be very me. unhappy to I hear you call him Philly U. Your yes, yes, the Jefferson but, uh, Rams. <laughs> all the proceeds go to One America Appeal. Yes. So it's for a great cause, and it's your first look at Temple basketball. So. Yeah, November 9th. Out. Mark your calendar. Yeah, should be a good one. Fran Dunphy, Herb McGee. You've got like a million combined wins between these two coaches. Uh, should be a lot of fun and for a good cause. Absolutely. Well, moving on. Yes, the one thing we can't get over this week. Speaking of basketball, we really got our first look at Temple men's yes. and women's basketball in Lot K this past weekend at the uh, Fan Fest. And these dance moves, I mean, you They're can't... not as good as mine. Or no, I was going to say, like, you know, I was co-hosting the event, so you can't see in the shot, but, like, <laughs> I'm in the background just kind of like, you know... I was trying to block him from... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, Nate Pierre-Louis and uh, Tajay Stevenson... Uh, from the men's and women's team, got into a dance-off, and the results, we can't get over. <laughs> this to the women's basketball team, let's go! <laughs> so... Morgan doesn't know about this, but there's another thing that I can't get over and I'm very angry about, Morgan. Oh, you think you know a guy. You think you know your co-host yes. and he's just springing stuff on me. Right. So I was going through the footage from last week's Olympics. So you recall that Morgan beat me in a soccer juggling competition. There was an outtake in there where I got hit in the face with a soccer ball. And it wasn't until I saw the alternate camera angle that I realized not only did Morgan <laughs> laugh at this, but clapped about it. So you think you know a person. I thought we we're good friends, my co-host, <laughs> laughing and clapping. I was clapping? About, you were clapping. Are you sure? I think this is a, like a, a Freud. This is yeah. <laughs> Kevin, I was clapping that you weren't concussed. I was oh, oh he's <laughs> very likely. So I channeled all of my rage and all of my anger and my frustration at Morgan into this week's Olympics, a showdown. We hit the weight room. In the weight room. Except there were no weights involved <laughs> yeah. because they said that was a liability. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> All right, we are here for Olympics strength and conditioning style, joined by Sam Whitney, who was my former strength coach. That's right. So, uh, give, aren't you glad I'm give back? Me, give me the inside scoop on Morgan here. What, what was she like in the weight room? Well, I only had her for a half a, half a season. <laughs> Thank goodness for you. <laughs> We're going to start off with our Prowler Shuttle. 
which is uh, pushing the sled down the turf and back. All right. Um, we'll follow that up with a, a sit-up competition. Oh, 60 seconds, see how many you guys can do. Okay. All right, and then we'll finish with a, with broad jumps, see how much power you got. This is bringing back some elementary school nightmares to me right now from the President's Fitness Test. All right. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't think the shoes are going to help. <laughs> Five feet, seven inches. Ooh, we got ourselves a race here. Five feet, four inches. He jumped like a whole person. <laughs> they were holding it back the whole time. I can't watch. Oh crap! I didn't stick it. All right, so I think the official, the victory, the 2-1 victory. Wow. Kevin Kyle. Wow. Taking the broad jump. Broad jump. I never thought Kevin would uh, own me in the weight room. <laughs> Morgan I've got to admit, I'm surprised as anyone watching that I would win a competition in the weight room. But the Olympics are tied. It's four to four somehow. <laughs> well, mind you, we, we kept it dead even. Uh, Sam, Whitney, yes. the strength coach, was like, all right, Kevin's going to do the normal weights for guys and Morgan's going to do the weights <laughs> said, for girls. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we we're all about the gender equality. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm very progressive. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> no, no, we will both <laughs> go from the girl standard. <laughs> that was very big I am of no you, normal Kevin. guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, none of us, neither one of us hit the girls. Uh, Not even close. And I am a former athlete. Not and even you close. are a male. But, you know, that's because our uh, kids are superstars. That's the right? most that can be said for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is we're tied and we have remaining in the Olympics seven more rounds, which feels almost like a threat at this point. Football, women's basketball, tennis, golf, lacrosse, fencing, field hockey, and gymnastics. That was actually eight. What should we so. do next? Tell us which one we should do next. And something preferably I would win at. <laughs> uh, our cameraman just hit the camera. So we should, that was <laughs> maybe the, a hint to get the, off the That's air. the wrap it up sign. <laughs> that's all we've got for Al Live, brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Go out. <laughs>